of Mighty Best. And there we see the spotlight on the world champion, Sonny Liston, in his entourage, leading him down from dressing room to ring. A long walk down. Sonny with that hooded robe, the terry cloth white robe, uh, is being led by his advisor, Jack Nylon, Willie Reddish, Teddy King, and uh, some of the others in the group. Let's see what kind of hand he gets as he gets near the ring. Now he's near that, well, let's call it the golden circle. The golden circle, ladies and gentlemen, is the one in front of, he's walking directly behind it now, in front of the $50, $100, and then the auxiliary press, then the $150 section. And finally, Sonny keeps going toward that, what is the $200 per copy, seat per copy section. Now he's heading into the golden circle. Of course, uh, leading the way, some of his very, very close friends, uh, coming in there, Sonny gives you that, uh, well, that great look. And there he comes up the ring stairs, Teddy King, first man through, the heavyweight champion with ropes being spread apart, bounces in, calm, cool, collected. And at the present time, both fighters are in over on the opposite corner of Sonny. Listen, uh, we see at this point the challenger. The challenger catches Marcellus Clay, 22 years of age, unbeaten. 19th straight going for all the marbles in the boxing business. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Miami Beach, Florida, Miami Beach Convention Hall. While we're here, may I introduce you to a couple of boxers you've seen in the past, we'll probably see again in the future. The contender and former welterweight champion of the world, Louis Manuel Rodriguez. And from North Miami Beach, right here in Florida, the light heavyweight champion of the world, the dancing master, Willie Pastrano. Willie P. Willie Pastrano, who boxes an awful lot like Cassius Clay. And here's a heavyweight on the comeback trail. Five KOs in a row, gunning for a title shot, the popular Californian, Eddie Machen. Major. Eddie punching better than ever, doing exceptionally well. And real close to ringside, ladies and gentlemen, a man who has been acclaimed as the greatest fighter, pound for pound, three-time middleweight champion, Sugar Ray Robinson. You know what this spectacle is. You've seen it before. Ray with a, a, a great uh, tuxedo sort of suit on. Looks great. Looks perhaps younger than he's looked in a long time. Congratulated and wished Clay lots of luck. Did the same with Sonny. Says hello to the referee. And now the announcer. And doing, doing the commentary over television for theater, network, television. Probably one of the most beloved boxers of all time. Defended his title. 25 times in his nine years as heavyweight champion, the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis. Lewis. My colleague tonight, my broadcast partner, got a great hand, and why not? An all-time great. And on the other side of the ring, doing his bit for ABC Radio, the undefeated retired heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Rocky, very popular in the Southland, popular all over the country. Unbeaten, untied. Back to the ring announcer. This bout is under the auspices of veterans of foreign wars, post number 3559. Under the promotion of Dundee McDonald Enterprises and the supervision of the Miami Beach Boxing Commission, consisting of Carl Gardner, Vice Chairman, Al Sherman, Dan Roth, Eddie Lassman, and Chairman Morris Klein. The officials assigned the doctor, the chief medical examiner, Dr. Alexander Robbins. The timekeeper is Gus Reno accounting for the knockdowns, Scotty Lang. Judging, Gus Jacobson. 
Bunny Lovett, and the referee, Barney Felix. This bout, 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. The challenger from Louisville, Kentucky, wearing white trunks with red stripes, weighing 210 and one half pounds, the former Olympic light heavyweight champion, Cassius Clay. Clay. And his opponent from Denver, Colorado, weighing 218 pounds, wearing the black trunks with the white trim, the heavyweight champion of the world, Charles Sonny Liston. Liston. 15 rounds, two more bouts will follow. All right. I want a clean bout, men. In the event of a knockdown, a man at his down must take an eight count. Man standing up will go to a neutral corner while I start counting. And do not resume boxing until I tell you to do so. Now, I want a clean bout. When they order you to break, stop punching and step back. Good luck. Shake hands. All set now. World heavyweight boxing title on the line. 31-year-old Sonny Liston, 22-year-old Cassius Clay. Sonny the champion, Cassius the challenger. Sonny 218, Cassius 210 and a half, a seven and a half pound weight pool. Referee, the capable Barney Felix, brought to you by Theater Network Television. Cassius Clay on the move as we see, looking to get Sonny to lunge, carrying his left hand dangerously low. Note that the champion, Liston, the aggressive man, Ooh. a good heavy shot dug under the heart. Sonny has to set the pace. That's the way it looks at the outset. Cassius, awkwardly fast. Good long left lead that might keep the champion a bit off balance. Very slippery. Play still in the danger zone in that he's keeping his hands low, but you'll notice one thing if you don't mind. He's at long range with the hands low. We're halfway through round one. range if we look closely although Barney Felix does want them apart at this point because the hands were tied Sonny will be the guy that will keep falling away one minute more in the first round Sonny seems to be trying to slip those left leads can't do it too successfully because the challenger is jabbing all over. Body, head, and right hand. The best punch in the fight so far. down to the closing seconds of this first round and the long left lead is making the difference so far by Mr. Clay. <laughs> corner of Cassius Clay who is still doing the talking. He's still, he's breathing a bit hard. 
Barney Felix, the referee, did not stop that round when that bell sounded. Perhaps the referee didn't hear it. Champion Joe Lewis. Going, look at the guy yawning. Tell us what you think at the end of one. Well, Steve, I think this was the greatest round of any, of any fight we've seen in a long time because I think Clay uh, completely hot class on this in this round. Completely outclassed, Joe, with his speed, his awkward style, his boxing, his natural ability. What did it, in your opinion? Well, uh, I hope that Clay don't get too much confidence in dude, then he's going he gonna, he gonna to get knocked out. Joe referred to overconfidence. This can happen. not headhunting at this point. He's content to rip toward the body, trying to bring the guard down and then go upstairs. You know, when the body goes, the head follows. Watch out. But this youngster has his own style, and it's confusing for the champion to fathom this early in the fight, at least up to now. Halfway through this second round. Closely, the champion is clubbing away, and then, of course, the challenger has to move him away. Less than one minute more in the second round. seconds to go in the second round. Liston wants to pump that jab to set up his other punches. He wants to use it as a left lead, a lead to other shots if he can get this kid to stand still and then rip the body. Ten seconds more in the second round. The crowd's going to roar in a few more seconds, that's for sure. Joe, Joe Lewis, tell us now what they might be telling Sonny. How will he have to fight in round three? Well, I, I'm sure that, that uh, Willie Red is telling Sonny to forget about uh, catch the play head because, you know, he, he pulled back too much and, and it's much too fast for that. But I think some time we're going to bite for a while. The old saying, no, kill the body to hear the dime. Now, tell me this, in your opinion, and you're very close to Sonny, and uh, you're close to both guys, uh, is Sonny relaxed? Is he tense? What do you think, Joe? Well, I think Sonny uh, right now looks like that. This last round, I think, it made him a little bit more t t a tense because uh, the first round, I think, he was, play really uh, showed a lot of, lot of moving, a lot of what he could do, you know? All right. We're getting set. Thank you, Joe. We're getting set now for round number three. Listen and play. Another jarring right hand that time, folks. Another one. Sonny Robo. Sonny Robo. Cash just has him hurt.
Sonny has a big mouth below his left eye. He has a cut below the eye, and he's getting hit with all the punches in the book. Five seconds remaining in round three. Hold the phone. Passes is a bit hurt. Sonny, still aggressive, very durable. I'd like to point out, the champion is strong, durable, takes the good shot. However, he is being outmaneuvered at most points because this fella has that awkwardly fast style of going side to side, moving the upper part of his body. Five seconds to go in the fourth round. Sonny has some puffiness below his right eye now.
Less than a minute to go in this fourth frame, fourth round. Ooh. The list and hook started out as a jab, turned it short to a good hook. talking a lot now. I don't know who he's looking like he's arguing with his, with his, with his trainers, uh, uh, you know. But I don't know. Uh, Clay, I think he's getting more company as the fight goes along. So getting as, more confidence? As, I think so. As long as the fight goes, more company he would be. That's Angelo Dundee that he was arguing with, Joe. Angelo now is telling him off a little bit while he gets him ready. Is the fella surprising you? Is, is Sonny surprising I, I think that I think that uh, Clay is surprising the whole world uh, of, of going along with, with Sonny. And not only that, he's Sean said to be in a good fight. Thank you, champ. Getting ready for number five. Something wrong with Clay now. Uh, something wrong with Clay. Uh, something wrong with Clay. I see that, Joe. His eyes. His eyes are bothering him. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know exactly what happened. They're yelling from Cassius Clay's corner. Something got in his right eye. Uh, however, he's blinking badly. Sonny's going to try to part on. Four seconds remaining in the fifth. Only ten seconds remaining as Sonny's still moving in. Cash is still bouncing punches away, blocking them.
In round six, we note that Sonny flat-footed stands most of the time. Easy target. Easy. Play with a variety of punches. We call them combinations. Putting punches together. That's his strong point. In the middle of round number six, Cassius plays still with the faster hands and the better legs, or at least the faster legs. I'll correct myself on that one. Sonny does have sturdy legs. Slightly less than a minute more in the sixth round. The champion has slowed down a bit. The tempo has slowed in the fight. Only 30 seconds to go in the sixth round. Sonny can't seem to slip or knock down that jab effectively. Cassius, Cassius throws it from all angles. Very tricky left lead, left jab. Seconds remaining in the sixth. toward the champion's corner. He's still standing up. They're going to make him sit down. What do you think is going on in Sonny's mind at this point? Well, I think Sonny now is beginning to worry now. At least his corner is beginning to worry now because I, I think that they feel now that, that Clay have all the confidence he needs to go home to beat the feet of Sonny. So I think that the corner now is beginning to worry a little bit now. Now they're working, as we note, with our camera shots in there below the left eye. They've already worked below the right eye. There you see them. Joe Polino trying to keep that cut closed. Uh, do you feel as though Sonny being busted up a little bit, puffed up a little bit around the face, will this make a difference in Liston's thinking? Well, it has to make a, little, uh, a difference because Liston, now, I think he, he don't see too well out of both his eyes now because they're pretty well puffed out. And I think Clay got all the comfort he needs now. So I think that he, he can't him go on winning now. They might be stopping it. That might be all, ladies and gentlemen. Get up there, Joe. Get up there. Get up in the ring.
gentlemen up here in the ring, in the ring corner, with Joe Lewis. We're going to call the referee over Barney Felix. Joe, what did it? The Sonny listen. What happened? Well, uh, I remember talking to Sonny, and Sonny said that Come and here, he was going to throw it out of the way. Cash, he left the left he left Do us a favor now. You're an our ace reporter. Get over and see if we can get Sonny over here. Get him over if you can, Jeff. He said that the doctor won't let him come over. Uh, well, right, try, right. try to get him. Okay. Try to get him if you can. Meanwhile, Barney Felix, the referee. Barney, uh, you stopped the fight at the end of six. Is that recorded as a seventh round knockout? It is a seventh round knockout. It's, it's recorded as a seventh round knockout. And uh, thank you, Barney. You did a good job. All right, Howard. Hey, uh, Joe. What did he say? Wait a minute, Barney. See if he cannot come. The doctor will let him come. Cannot come. come. Okay. Okay, get Cassius Clay. Wait. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. He's yelling behind us. Cassius Clay, wait a minute. Come here. Come here. Come here, come here, Cass. I'm the greatest thing that ever lived. No. Wait, wait a minute. I don't have it. Now hold it, move over, Joe. Joe, get out of the way. Hold it, hold it. Bedlam breaking out, bedlam busting out here. So great, I don't have a mark on my face. Yeah. And I upset Sonny Liston, and I just turned 22 years old. I must be the greatest. Now, I told the world, I talk to God every day. If God's with me, can't nobody be against me, Sonny. I shook up the world. I know God. I know the real God. Cassius, wait a minute, wait a minute, Cassius. Let me ask you this now. You told me when you visited in Los Angeles, you could do it in eight. Well, you thought Sonny and figured Sonny was great. How I come had, you did it in six or seven? I, I, you did it in seven. I had him going in eighth. I was getting ready to take him in the eighth, as you can see. But the man stopped it just to keep from making me look so great. Right. I say, now, give us that poetry on number seven. He wanted to go to heaven, so I took him in seven. You took him in seven. I am the king of the world. Hold it, hold it, hold I'm it. I'm pretty. Hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a bad man. Wait, wait. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. Hold it. Over in the neutral corner. Over in the neutral corner. Get him back here. Or get him over there if you can. He's throwing kisses to everybody. Cassius Clay is standing there amidst his followers. And at this point, we'll get uh, somewhere over and find out. Angelo Dundee. Angelo, the manager of the world heavyweight champion. The manager on record, Angelo Dundee, who along with Bill Fabersham and the 10 other Louisville gentlemen who had him, the Louisville sponsoring group. Wait a second. Angelo? He's still on microphone. We're trying to get somebody to you, ladies and gentlemen. All we can say at this point as we look into the into the face of Cassius Clay, let's get Angelo Dundee, the manager, and at one time, bring him over here. Back, Bring him back. You got the heavyweight champion. You got the light heavyweight champion. Did you think after one, two, three, four, five, or six that you had it wrapped up? Let pipe sit. I knew he was going to knock the guy out, Steve. I, but I thought he was going to knock about 11 or 12. And he was going to go All right, let pipe sit, you call it. That's right. And, and tell me this. What are his plans? Would he, feed, would he fight a guy in the top six, say, like an Eddie Machen, for example? Fight anybody. He'll be a fighting heavyweight champ. It's the best thing that happened to boxing. All right. And when you say the best thing, why? Why do you give us because that story? This guy gives us a lot of zets in boxing. Keep people talking boxing. What do we want? We need people like that in boxing. It's Some... a fresh young kid that we need. And this kid's done a lot for boxing. I'm thrilled to be with him. Well, you certainly have done a good job of teaching him, schooling him. Now, do you think that Liston, or will you give Liston a return fight? Well, that's up to Bill Fabsham. I feel there'll be no problem. I feel they'll get together if the money's right. No problem if the money's right. What are you, he's still making speeches over there. Maybe Joe is getting him on his mic. At least I hope he is. Angelo, thank you. 